favorite segment in a beauty pageant? It has got to be the question and answer segment. I love that segment. Got some questions that I gotta ask and I hope you can come up with the answers, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together to welcome contestant number one, Jacqueline Ng. Jacqueline, are you ready for the Q&A segment? Yes. The first question is, if you are blessed by the goddess of luck, you have three suitors at the same time. One of them is a poet, the other is a politician, and the last person is an investment banker. Who would you pick and who would you go out with? That's actually a very tough question. One of the toughest I've got. Good one. Uh, basically, thinking on your question, I would have to say that I would go with the politician because the politician actually has a lot of power in terms of politics, legal system, governments and institutions, etc. So I would believe that our world really do needs a change in terms of actually bridging the gap between the developing countries as well as the developed countries. So only the politicians working with the investment banks working with the poets of the world would be able to bridge all the different minds together and of course achieve mankind's dream of actually equality and providing a better world for all. So I'll definitely go with a politician. So you would like to go out with someone who can transform the world, right? Definitely. And I hope that I'm actually also able to actually transform the world one day if, you know, hopefully I can actually start my own trust fund and actually go around the world actually meeting with different people and actually helping them out. So this is actually one of my ambitions for myself. So I hope to actually achieve that too. Alright, thank you very much. And are you ready for our second question? Oh, definitely. Bring it on. Right, okay, so if Singapore is going to sink beneath the ocean in the next minute, I mean, spoiler, okay, but uh, you have a personal helicopter and you can take only one person with you, okay? So would you rather take your son or your husband? All these moral dilemmas, <laughs> trying to bring out, you know, the person in me. It's a very tough question. This one is even tougher than the first one. I would have to go, I would take my son with me because basically I believe I would speak with my husband on this and two of us will agree that our son is actually the future for both of us. And he would actually be able to provide hope for me when I actually look at him and actually see that I did the right thing. And even though it is a very, very difficult decision, I believe that you know possibly my husband and I will also agree on the fact that with the old must you know come the new as well so I mean you have to get rid of the old things to actually make way for the new one so I believe definitely it's going to be a very very difficult um, um, situation where we'll be crying and there'll be lots of screaming and hugging and all but I think end of the day I will actually be taking my son with me I like your answer because I guess a lot of other people would say okay we'll all die together I think that's too <laughs> pessimistic right? Too pessimistic for me no I'm very uh, optimistic very bubbly and very happy so this is actually my personality and I hope it actually reflects in my Q&A right. okay, You want to make the best out of a situation If you have to suffer a setback in your life no matter what would you rather be bankrupt disfigured or singer for your whole life? If it would happen to me, I would choose bankruptcy because then it would teach me that uh, to treasure what I have now and when good things come, I must actually treasure it even more and fight even harder to keep it. So I would go with bankruptcy. Yeah. It helps you to grow as well, right, as a person? Definitely. It challenges you to actually push beyond the boundaries because you start to question, I mean, if other people started out from a bankruptcy stage, they still manage to you know, get to where they are, which is you know successful and comfortable, and also even helping people as well. So that's where I actually want to foresee myself to be. Alright, thank you so much, Jacqueline. And now we'll welcome the next contestant. Yeah, while well, you take a break. Thank you very much. Wow, very well answered. So, would you like Jacqueline to be your next Miss Singapore Universe? And what does she have to say about the current title holder, Rachel Kum? That was a really cheap publicity stunt on her part to actually try to garner up a little bit more attention before the year comes to an end for her as the Miss Singapore Universe 2009. I like 21 questions. 